So now in this video, I want to start off by saying I don't really recommend this uh, voltage booster here. I think it is dangerous, but if you know what you're doing, I think it may be useful. Um, I actually fried a couple of these. I'm pretty sure last time I fried it was because I set the power supply voltage higher than uh, what I wanted the output uh, voltage to be. Um, so, um, and then we got another one I fried. I, I think there might be different reasons. Um, so in case you can fry them also, this is made to boost voltage up to 60 volts according to the seller. Who knows if it really can do so uh, reliably. But in uh, any case, um, that's what they claim right there. Um, and uh, it's like 7 amps with uh, this heat sink, they say. And then like up to 15 if you add cooling capability. So I'm guessing that's like adding a fan, maybe attaching more metal or something. I, I don't know. But in any case... Uh, I just wired this up right now and uh, we got 17 volts. I'm not going to touch this while it is being powered. Also, I believe you should make sure you always limit the power coming from the uh, power supply. So I will turn it off and then on and um, this uh, flashes when the voltage is out of a high or low uh, range that you can set on it. Um, but uh, in any case, uh, one amp seems to be uh, perfectly fine. When these fry they just accept whatever current uh, you give to them. I found that out. And um, so I'm not going to demonstrate this. If I started where I limited current below um, like 40 milliamps right here, then uh, like this, as I like raise the current, it's going to keep accepting more and more current. Limiting current uh, too much um, seems to throw off how it works or something. So make sure you have uh, the current set to uh, quite a bit more than you're going to need to power the load. And uh, so we have 8.5 volts at the power supply right there. That's why this is a booster. The decimal point was hard to see far away. Um, but yeah, there you can see 8.5 volts. That's going into the uh, unit there. And uh, coming out of the unit is 17.4 volts. So I haven't adjusted it yet. There is a uh, little uh, trim pot like this one right there so that one's for the current over on this side there's one for the voltage you can turn that uh, little screw like 30 times or something when you come to the end you can keep turning the screw but it doesn't uh, move the uh, resistive element anymore um, so that's either direction so you don't have to worry about overturning it and damaging it um, but you'll get to a limit uh, sooner or later I don't uh, recommend um, fiddling around with these more than you have to um, I read a review that somebody like turned the current one too much and I uh, had uh, problems. Um, but I'm not going to worry about the current one uh, right now. I'm going to limit my current with the power supply. And I found that when these fry, uh, they deliver like a lot of uh, power and uh, a lot of voltage. So for protection, we're going to limit current from the power supply. So in any case, that's most of my warnings. Also, I'm not setting this down on uh, my, uh, it's not wood, it's, I believe it's, uh, uh, what's that called, uh, bamboo, um, but it kind of looks like wood. Uh, I don't set it down, that may have been how I fried the first one, because there's uh, exposed pins at the bottom. So, I have these, uh, you see them a lot with the integrated circuit and stuff, they're like little standoffs or something right there. Um, so, the uh, bottom of the board is not touching uh, down here. Right, so I turn the power supply off and here are the uh, banana plugs that uh, go into the uh, power supply right there and um, it's off right there the output is off uh, no current is flowing through. So uh, there's the other end of those cables the alligator clips so we uh, are gonna keep this below half of an amp even though I put the power supply to uh, one amp right there absolute uh, Maximum current will get out of here. So I think even one amp probably won't damage uh, these jumpers But uh, one amp is probably pushing their uh, limit right there. So for higher power stuff, you'd want uh, higher uh, Jumpers there. There's uh so this is not being powered right now Should uh, be safe to touch and uh, probably safe to touch uh, All the time uh, if you hit these uh, heat fins usually uh, the fins are attached uh, to one of the uh, pins right there probably like the ground pin or something um i think those are mosfets but whatever um so these these might get electrified i'm not going to touch this well it's being powered also the capacitors store charge that's something to be aware of um 
hopefully they discharge though when you turn the power off but in case uh, yeah there we got the little screw down thing can easily handle that there so I bought these a long time ago right here and um, I don't know what uh, their actual name is but you see them a lot with like integrated circuits a lot of integrated circuits you know they're boards like this with circuitry on them so um, or those are like integrated circuits there uh, uh, boards here I can't think of uh, a better name for them right now a board um, a lot of these boards uh, come with uh, these little standoffs here so uh, the longer one there has little uh, uh, screws so this has like threads and I I just uh, twist them together right there uh, but uh, yeah right there is uh, that one there I think is the inductor and um, for for that and then that other dot yeah, I think that is the other side of the inductor. So the inductor uh, creates high voltages and stuff. So I think that may have been one of the reasons that caused problems for my earlier one. Uh, if the voltage goes up high enough, it uh, may have conducted through the wood or something and, and like fried something else, who knows. Um, but in case, yeah, there's the uh, voltage one and uh, there is the current and it says, uh, says uh, like CV, I don't think we'll be able to zoom in enough. To uh, get the focus but uh, yeah I think uh, somewhere it should say CV on uh, this side and then CC on that side so this sets the maximum voltage out and that sets the maximum current out and uh, whichever one is at its limit is what's gonna set uh, the output uh, so we got out there uh, there's a plus where the red is and a negative so this is 16 gauge wire uh, these are ferrules that I uh, clamp to them so these ferrules just kind of barely fit in here if you put them in the right way if it doesn't uh, fit you turn this like 90 degrees and then then it fits like pretty good um, just screw it down right there and uh, the other side we have this meter here so they uh, come here again we got the clip so we'll look at the back of this so this can go up to hundred volts right there so I think even when this goes haywire um, it won't get to hundred uh, volts and uh, one of the ones that I fried, I noticed it was spitting out like 80 volts or something. So I think this thing uh, will be fine. It was uncontrollable like 80 volts. That's why I say don't play around with these. These can be dangerous. Um, I'm only touching it when the power bank or the uh, the uh, power source is off. But uh, any case, yeah, um, this can measure up to 100 volts, 20 amps. So even when these go high wire, this this particular meter uh, should be fine. And then the outside ones are uh, the load. So um, we got uh, negative where the black is, positive where the red is. I already color coded it. And the outermost is the load. So these are shorter um, because of what I made it for in a previous uh, project. But here I can just kind of set them to the side and clip uh, alligator clips to a load. Now, when it comes to uh, programming this, so we're going to uh, zoom back a little bit. I'm not going to attach the load while I'm setting the uh, voltage. Um, there we go. And uh, I'll just move the uh, the wire there. Move this by the wire. Now that it's being powered, I don't want to touch it because uh, there could be like high voltages jumping around. I'm quite far away from there, even though on camera it probably looks like my finger was kind of close. So yeah, just a little multi-turn trim pot there. We can just uh, check the voltage. So we're not powering anything, there's no current going. Right now I'm going clockwise, and that lowers the voltage. Now I definitely don't wanna, that's 8.5 volts is the minimum for the power supply. Um, I definitely don't ever wanna go below what the power supply is. So, like, uh, for this circuit that we did lighting the five series red LEDs, we could go up to like 20 volts, because each one's gonna drop like two volts, and so out of the 20 volts, like 10 volts left will be across the 1000 ohm resistor for 10 milliamps so we can turn it up um, but let's say uh, you know I'm going to use like a 24 volt power supply I'll probably uh, preset this with uh, at 8.5 uh, volts right there and then go up to a 30 and uh, yeah, I, I bumped something so it stopped turning uh, so yeah let's go up to a 30 I'm not going to attach this to the LEDs now we already saw how I attached it to the LEDs and again we have low current okay that set it out of the uh, voltage range let's uh I must have set it to a uh, 30 volts for the voltage range that's all the flashing was right there um it's, it's just a warning this doesn't actually protect you it just lets you know 
that you are out of the range. So I'm actually going to turn this off first. And um, so we can go uh, so I don't accidentally apply too much uh, voltage there. So let's go up to, uh, let's just do 23.5 right there. And now it should have power. So if I did uh, 23.5 when this was only set, well, it was set at a uh, little less than 18. I'm pretty sure that would have fried it. I raised this in real time and noticed the last one I fried was probably about right when I gave more voltage than uh, what uh, this is. This is a booster. We got to keep this voltage lower. So there, um, we should be able to attach a 30 volt load uh, right now. Um, but again, these fry kind of easy and uh, uh, there's probably already like high, dangerously high like voltage parts, you know, the coil. It's probably kind of kicking out little bursts of uh, high voltage. And uh, when they go haywire, they definitely, at least I have one, that definitely was uh, kicking out uh, too much uh, voltage. So um, don't play around with this one. This is just a preview. But uh, I think uh, I'll be able to make good use out of these for the price. If I had uh, stuff I really needed to protect um, that I was going to use a voltage booster for, then I would not use these. I'd buy like a high quality one, one that gets uh, good reviews and stuff. Um, but I think these might be good if you know how to handle them properly. But it's definitely very easy to uh, not, not handle them properly. But in case, this is just kind of a review. As I said before, I fried like a couple of these. So I'm just going to make a short, uh, pretty safe uh, video uh, right here. Simple. And um, just to get like another video out. Because I spent a lot of time uh, fiddling around with these. So hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen. And check out the links down below. They all help a lot. I'll see you uh, in the next video.